Hi there, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today I have a project I want to share with you. And for this project, you need tape measurement, chalk or pencil, pin, scissors, safety pin, elastic, and also sewing machine. Okay. And most of all, I'll be working with Ankara fabric and satin. But for you, you can use any fabric of your choice. So I will be showing you how to make reversible bonnet. So let's get started. I've already cut out the fabric that I'll be working with. The head measurement I want to work with is 23 inches. If you divide it it will show you 11.5 but first of all this is how my fabric is at the moment you measure out 23 inches you measure it out but I'm my only showing 24 but it shouldn't be a problem because I will cut out the excess and here as well it should be the same 23 inches okay 23 inches you fold it this is the front section I fold it like this then I fold it again like that okay once you fold it this way ensure this is important ensure that this section is folded before you start to cut and also here is folded because you want to get a circle you understand what i mean in a minute i'm now going to measure out the measurement that i need because it's folded it's been divided now so i'm looking for 11.5 okay 11.5 before i showed you 23 inches with this you it depends on your measurements you can do 10 11 12 14 it doesn't matter just do as you wish okay depending on your choice so now i place my tape measurement at the edge hold it down my target is 11.5 so this is 11.5 i mark it i hold it 11.5 that's what i will do until i join them together 11.5 measure it out you mark it Okay, so I am today. So what I'll do, I'll now connect the dots together. Once the dots are connected together, you cut. Attention, it's folded. I cut. You can pin it before cutting, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I'll cut. Voila, it's done. Uh, now, if you open it, this is what you, need, you will get. Round, circle. Okay? The same measurement I got from this, I will replicate it on this satin. Okay? Instead of showing you how to measure it again, it's, it's the same process. So what I'll do, I'll fold this again. If you want, you can 
fold it into two, place this on top of it, and trace out what you want. But what I'll do, I'm just gonna, you can do that, that's okay. But for this project, what I'll do, I will fold it like I did before and also fold this again. Use this and place on top and trace it out. Okay. I'll have to pin it. So there are two, three ways you can do this. It's either you did you do it the same the first way I showed you, or you open it, place it on top of the lining, or you do what I'm doing right now. It doesn't matter. Just do whatever that is okay for you. You can trace it or just cut. I will just cut. This is it. So now I open it. You have same circle as the previous one. Okay, this is our lining. Okay, so what I'll do now, I will place this no facing front. Which way is the front? <laughs> yeah, facing front, and the lining, the front section, I will join it together. So it's like sandwich, the two fronts showing together. You pin it. So what you do, get the measurement you want, pin them together. After pinning them together, once that is done, you take it to the you take it to the machine. Hem. You will do two different hemming. First of all, you can me measure out tiny, like half an inch, and so, or a little bit. You see, see how small that is. Just hem it. That's the first hem. That's the first hem. Once that is done, hem it all round. And ensure you open at least two inches. Don't sew all around. Just sew and leave two inches out. Two inches. Open. Don't stitch it. So you use it. That's what you use to... Um, reverse it, turn it around. Okay, now I'm going to show, I'm going to sew them round and I trim off the ones I don't need. When I come back, I'll show you. Right, I am done stitching it. Okay, now it's time to, this is the area that I left open, it's time to turn it, to reverse it. Okay, that is done. Now, what I'll do is to take it to the iron, to iron it. You iron it so that it becomes crisp, which will help you when you're putting your elastic. Iron all around it. And then, you measure out, once that is ironed, you measure out... Mm 
one point okay before that this is the elastic i'll be working with the length of the elastic is 20 a bit shorter than my second frame hair circumference because it's elastic i don't want it to be the same measurement my hair circumference is 23 but i made this one to be lesser so i don't want it to be exact but you can also do it the way you want it okay so the width for my elastic is let's just call it one inch okay let's just call it one inch but i'm gonna give a bit um, make room for it so one inch plus let's say 1.2 yeah you use this go around you measure it 1.2 it can be 1.1 that's still okay you go around and then join them together after ironing this once you do that because that's where the elastic will go in i will i will go and i will iron them now sew it around then i'll show you what i did okay this is it this is the it's been sewn round round around this is open the case is open as sewn round now i'm going to put in the elastic okay you get your elastic put put it through in like this close stretch it up it's a bit bigger the casing which is okay then you go around all the way around but what you need to do before you continue this the end section pin it together so that it will not disappear when you're pulling the fabric when you're pulling the elastic and put it inside and i'll use pin to hold it but you have to be very careful so that the pin will not harm you my pin only remember you have a pin there okay you can also use safety pin to hold it i'll continue you do this when you're doing you're pulling back with your other hand okay this is it i've done going round this is my the beginning of my elastic this is the one that's this one is the one that i pinned earlier so i'm removing the pin now bring it out i will now remove the pin i will now join them together and sew So that's it basically i'll go and stitch this one stitch a zigzag or just straight line once it's done you open it open it and then you close the casing once you close this casing you stitch the remaining one i'll, I'll go and do it i'll show you okay that's it it's done now we are done with our reversible bonnets. This is the end up. Look at the stitch. The two inches we left earlier. The close up. This is it. Okay. So this is what we have. I hope you enjoy watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is what we have. You can either wear it this way, which is fantastic, or you wear it that way. 
okay our project is done isn't that beautiful look at that thank you for watching i hope to see you next time in my next video okay please don't forget to like subscribe and share okay see you guys have a good day bye bye